Hey guys, what's up? Same day for me, different day for y'all. We are out here doing a 30 caliber suppressor test sound comparison. Um, again, kind of piggybacking off of the NFA review channel. He did something very similar to this and I'm taking his idea and doing my own version of it. So I'm sorry if that makes you upset, but I'm not sorry because I'm going to do it. So let's do it. All right, so today we've got 30 cal cans, all right? We did a 5.56 five, comparison to me about five minutes ago, but for y'all, the other day, whenever that was, but today we have 30 cal cans, okay? And if you're looking at these, you're like, well, what cans you got? Because some of those look like 30 cals, some of them really kind of don't. Well, starting off with the biggest one, I think it's kind of the biggest one. I don't know, the other one, they're pretty similar, but the Sandman S, right? This is a well-known 30 caliber can okay so the sandman s with the standard not flash hider but a standard 30 cal end cap we have an e-brake but i'm not going to use it just to keep comparisons as, as comparably comparable as possible however that's supposed to be then we have my first can right the first can that i ever got was the hunter town arms kestrel uh, 762 ak now this can is interesting it's the first can i tried to get a can that could do everything and it kind of does, but it, yeah, it's an interesting can. It's a very interesting can. I don't know. Um, I have hopes one day of possibly turning it basically into a Sandman S and, with some different voodoo charms and things. But until that day, it's a 30 caliber can overboard to be able to shoot 9mm through it. But there's so much about that can that I could talk about, but we're not going to. But it is a dedicated, it's actually a dedicated 7.62, it's an AK can. It's made for AKs. That's why it's overboard to work uh, around some of the non-concentric barrel issues of AKs. So anyway, that is a 30 cal can. Then we have this guy. Um... I don't know how many of y'all really know about the Omega 9K's ability to, according to Silencer Co., um, handle full power 762 by 39, right? Not 308, right? Not 30 out 6, not all the other 30 caliber things out there. But I asked them specifically about this firearm, this barrel length, which is like a 10 inch barrel, I think. They said that the Omega 9K is rated and okay to shoot. Just watch your um, rate of fire is what they said. And I don't have full auto and I'm not doing mag dumps. So we're not really worrying about that. But I was very surprised to hear that this little Omega 9K could handle the pressures of that on a three lug. So we're going to run this guy on a three lug. So I stripped this right off of the MP5. It's got the three lug in there. We're going to see how it rolls. So we've got an Omega 9K, shorty little K can. Hunter Town Arms, old, beat up, you know, out of business uh, can, and then a well-known, uh, not Surefire, a well-known Sandman S, right, by Dead Air. We're going to see how they all work. All right, I'm going to do them in a somewhat of a random order. We'll see how they work. We'll see how they sound. Let me know what y'all think. I mean, try to play along, you know, if you want to do that whole kind of thing and try to try to guess which can is which can, uh, which one sounds different. And then at the very end, I'll tell you which cans were which cans and we'll show you some, some footage of actually firing the cans and we'll just talk about it a little bit, all right? Enjoy, let's get this show on the road. All righty, folks, here we go. Now I know the AK on pretty much every single one of these firearms. It's spicy, right? It's a little bit loud, and so that's why I'm wearing Ear Pro. On the 5.56 comparison video, the, those cans, those were all fine. I had, at the very end, I could feel pressure on my right ear, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't ringing or anything, so you could tell over time that's just not a good idea. On 30 cal cans, on these specific 30 cal cans, all of them on this short of a gun, they're a little spicy, so that's why I'm wearing these things. All right, so five rounds from the rear and then five rounds from the side. All right, five from the rear, five from the side. Or bump fire the last two.
All right, five from the rear, five from the side. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so there you go. So, I don't know what y'all thought. Um, it was hard to tell with the big muffs on. I should have worn something a little bit, it kind of sounds kind of stupid, but something that let a little bit more noise in. Like it does have audio, um, like canceling, right? So they're electronic headphones, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, to me, they all did sound kind of the same because it was, it was hard to really tell. I'm gonna have to go back and look on the footage. Um, what I do know, what I do know is from my perspective, they're all pretty gassy, right? This even has a KNS Precision um, adjustable gas block in it, which is tuned for suppressed. So I don't know, I don't know why it would be so gassy. I mean, I know these things are super, super gassy anyway. You throw a can on it and it's super, 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 super gassy. I think I put enough supers in there. Um, but they were all pretty gassy, right? If you started opening it up and like going mag dump kind of stuff, yeah, you're going to start blasting a bunch of gas back in your face and you're gonna get all nasty and gross um i would say i think personally these make sure they're probably kind of hot right now the omega 9k right and the sandman s i would put those two at the top um i don't know i'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage but i know from my perspective shooting i could see fireballs flames of fire rocketing out of this hunter town arms this guy is like an excuse for a suppressor in a way like he does suppress to where it does knock the decibel down some it does knock him down some but you get fire breathing balls out of this thing right and it's just it's crazy i've always noticed that i've always noticed that about the suppressor it has no like flash retardation at all and i think i use that in a correct term like it brings it down like they put flash retardant in cartridges anyway it has a huge stinking fireball okay i didn't notice that from the shooter's perspective on the uh, Sandman S or from the Omega 9K. Um, I even shot the Omega 9K a couple more times because I kept, I kept forgetting to hit record on a couple things and I was like, mm. so I got to shoot that something and I didn't notice a massive amount of, of, of flame fireballs coming out of the thing. Maybe it did in the camera, maybe it picked it up, maybe it didn't, I don't know, we'll have to go back and look at it. But, um, but I would put these two personally at the head of the list and this guy just cannot be cut like i bought all these cans it's not like i'm using somebody else's be like oh don't you know whatever i'm not trying to give an excuse for buying this can like no this thing is it disappoints in a way in a way it does in a way it doesn't so which ones do you all think performed the best out of all these and which ones are right here's the results here was can number one sandman s Here was can number two, Hunter Town Arms. And here was can number three. Omega 9K. All right, 
So I hope y'all enjoyed that. I really enjoyed shooting that, comparing it. Again, this thing, just the way that this gun is, it is, it is very gassy. Very, well, it is very gassy, but it's very loud even with these suppressors. So that's why I had those earmuffs on. I've done it before. Even with the, if you put the Sandman S with the e-brake on, it's right there where you're probably gonna be okay. If as long as you're not underneath something and you have plenty of space for that noise to dissipate and it's not gonna be reverbing off stuff and I don't know exactly how all the noise and all that kind of stuff works and how everything works, I don't know, but it is right there. This thing is very, very hard this guy is very hard for me to suppress. Maybe somebody else out there does it better. But the the, the AR-15s, 556 stuff, those seem to be a little bit better. Um, but these guys are pretty loud. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, thank you all for watching, subscribing, and everything, and sticking around to the very end. All right, y'all take care, and hopefully we will catch y'all in the next video. And one little final note on all this stuff. These guys, well, yeah. McMaster car, these guys right here. You can get some relatively cheap. I think they were, did they even have the price on here? Nah, they don't have the price on here. No, but I got these back 2019. I've had these things for about a year. Uh, but I'm, what I'm talking about is these rods. I've got a, a 22 caliber one, basically, a nine, a nine millimeter and a 30 cal one. If you're gonna be putting suppressors on suppressors, changing mounts, doing a bunch of different things, invest in some of these. You can get some from like the big companies, I think Surefire, Geisley. I don't think Dead Air has their own, but you can get some and they're more expensive, whatever. These, I think, are for uh, making drill bits or something like that, I don't know. Um, but you can find out the right size to get some calipers, you know, find the, the find the best size. I think I have Oh, let's see. I've got a .295. I've got a .212 and then I've got a .3390. All right. So 30 cal. It's a little loose. That's what this guy is. He's the .29. The 5.56223 is the .212. And then my nine millimeter is 0.339. And they work well enough to give you like an idea of if you're gonna get a baffle strike or not, right? Those aren't the exact tolerances that you probably need. But if you're switching out cans, if you're doing the stuff, if you've invested in these things, the last thing you want is to be excited to mount it up to a gun and to shoot and be like, oh, that sounded felt weird. And then you look at your can and you have a hole through the end of it. That's not supposed to be there. There's a hole through the end of these, but they're supposed to be there right but you don't want the holes that aren't supposed to be there and just to shred your can you don't want that so these are not expensive these are relatively cheap as long as you keep them stored properly don't bend them don't do any of that crazy stuff be very careful with them and they should last you very 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 long time and it will save you such a headache all right that's my little advice for y'all all right y'all take care Oh my word. Just hover there like an idiot. Let me do it again. He raced those last two.